steam. Live steam. Live steam was an incredible invention. When they discovered live steam, there were two do the things the horses used to do, it was a miracle. Every machine shop all across the country, they were building steam engines, trying to figure out the most efficient way to run machinery. In the mills, they had these kind of machines, a little vertical steam engine like this down in the basement, and they would provide power all over two or three floors uh, in order to run different kinds of machinery. Here we have another, another wonderful little donkey engine. This is a big, big engine, a big bore, quite a big flywheel there. I don't know what it did, but it probably ran a machine shop or something like that. Amazing power. And you don't have to keep feeding it. You don't have to rest it. It can run all day long, all night long, and never change. This is a wonderful little laydown engine. Chug, 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 you can see. Cute, gorgeous little thing built by my grandfather. And this other engine over here is a sewing machine engine. They had 20 of those under the bench and 20 sewing machines on top and people making pants and skirts in the mills back in those days. This little machine here, all handmade. This, these were pumps. They cut off the pumps and they made them into a steam engine. It, we figured this was done on the farm. We call this engine arthritis. So it kind of walks like I do. They cut the steam engine off, they put a flywheel, a, a sewing machine flywheel on it. All of these parts were handmade. They even made a governor on the thing like that. On the farm they used a machine like that for all kinds of wonderful things like sewing wood, even churning butter, and making ice cream. They used steam for every available machine you can imagine. You know they had steam cars, you know they had steam motor motorcycles, did you know they had steam bicycles? Did you know there was a steam aircraft? And as a matter of fact, they even experimented with steam helicopters. Now I can tell you more about that on the other segment. But before you go, take a look at this. This is the world's first outboard motor. Goes forward, goes back. Never have to change the spark plug. And it always starts, every single time it starts. Made by two boys in the 1920s from a bicycle. This is the sprocket, the stirrup, and the pedal. You can see where the spokes went in back there. Look up here, we have a wonderful vertical steam engine running a variable speed transmission. Over here, we have an Evinrude, number 39, original Evinrude, made by Ole Evinrude's own hand. Well, this is the, our piece resistance. This engine was the snow hauling engine, the snow shipyard. All of these environs were the snow shipyard back in the 19th century. And this engine would use to pull the big three and four masted schooners out of the water so they could work on the bottoms. So they could paint them and caulk them and do the maintenance that they needed to do. Then when they got ready to put the engine overboard, they of course would throw the Stevenson in and the engine would run the other direction and launch the vessel. This engine in 1900 was replaced by an electric motor. They modernized their railway over there. They took this engine and cut it up and threw it out in the mud. It was in the mud 95 years. And we dug it up and put it together and we got it running again.